Hey guys, it's Blake with Channel Android and I'm going to do a quick look at the hardware on the Lenovo IdeaPad K1. You've already seen the software look that we did, or maybe you haven't. If you haven't, check out the YouTube channel. It's there and it exists. So what we have here is a 10.1 inch tablet from Lenovo. It is the same screen resolution as you will see on other 10.1 inch tablets and it is roughly the same size. Uh, on the front here there's not much to distinguish it from other 10.1 inch tablets other than right here we have a button and the lighting may not be ideal we're showing off this button but it's there and it kind of functions as a uh, home button if I go away from the home the main page on the, the launcher and I hit that button it'll take me back to home so that's something we haven't seen on some of the tablets that we've looked at um, if you look at the edges of the tablet this side right here is plain as well as the top this side and we'll see if the camera can get a good look at that it's not really focused but you can see right here we have a rotation lock we have volume rocker and we have the power button and the little spot right next to the power button is where the mic is located and then on the bottom of the device we have a proprietary port for charging, the headphone jack, and a micro HDMI jack. And then if we look at the back of the device, oh, on the front, the camera. Front facing camera is centered right here. And on the back of the device, we have our FCC info down on the bottom. We have our camera with flash here. And then this material on the back of the tablet, it's a textured, it feels kind of like a, it's rubber. Uh, maybe it's plastic with a rubberized coating, but it's got some texture on it. And uh, it's got a little give if you press on it. Some people don't like the feel of a plastic back on devices and don't like the, don't like the uh, back to give, but I think that that's not necessarily a bad thing. As a matter of fact, I think it could be good for the durability of the device. A little give will help to keep from fractures because it will reduce the impact as if you were to drop the device. So we're not really looking at anything mind-blowing here. I mean, the cameras on all the tablets are pretty horrible. Um, and, you know, I don't... I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the camera specs because who is out there holding up their camera to take pictures? Not many people. So they're there. You got a front and a back. The question is, how does this compare to other 10.1 inch tablets? So let's sit this down and let's bring out the Samsung Galaxy Tab here. Now, first off, if we're comparing the hardware, I think the Galaxy Tab, just like with the Zoom, has a better screen than the IdeaPad. Let's see if we can get a good look at the size difference here. The, the uh, IdeaPad is thick, has kind of a rounded back, as opposed to the thin Galaxy Tab. See if that gives you an idea of thickness. And the Galaxy Tab is just flat. So there's that. And then if we sit the devices down, let's scoot back a little bit here. You can see the idea pad is taller. And you can't really tell, it's just a smidge wider. So it's thicker, taller, and wider than the Galaxy Tab.
Now, if you've watched our review or our comparison of the Galaxy Tab to the Motorola Zoom, you'll know that the Zoom was thicker, but it also, it's a picture of my dog, don't know why that's there. Let's go back to the home menu here. Okay. That's a little better. The Galaxy Tab is taller and wider than the Zoom. And if you watch our other video here on the Channel Android channel, you'll see that. And I actually, in this instance, said that I liked the extra thickness or extra width and height of the Galaxy Tab. If you can really see that because of the lighting. It's not much, maybe half an inch on the height and then, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch on the width. Uh, but the extra space for your thumbs when holding the device, I like on this and it's thinner so it kind of makes up for that. Now, the Galaxy Tab is missing some ports. If you watch our other videos, like I said, you'll see that you basically have the headphone jack and the proprietary charging port. That's one of the downfalls to the Galaxy Tab. One of the great things about the Zoom is that it has, it does have a proprietary charging port, but it also has mini HDMI and or micro HDMI and micro USB on it. So if we compare the idea pad to the zoom we have a substantial increase in size if we look at the height I wish I could get the lighting on this a little bit better but we're talking about a pretty large difference in height here um, you may not can really tell because of this lighting something just forced close no anyway so yeah, this device is substantially taller, it's wider, and unlike with the Galaxy Tab, since it is wider, I feel like it's a little too wide and a little too tall. So Lenovo's added some size to this, but there it is. So that's a look at the hardware. As I've said, we had the look at the software already, and if you head on over to the website at channelandroid.com, I will have a complete, complete-ish review, if you will, of my thoughts on the idea pad. And uh, yeah, maybe this is the device for you. Maybe it's not. I'll leave that up to you to decide. We'll see you some other time.